Good morning, friends. It is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a good old fashioned day in the life vlog. It's actually Monday morning. It's super cloudy, foggy. It's raining actually right now, and I think it's supposed to change over to snow here a little bit later in the day. Anyways, I just dropped the kids off at school, and I'm sitting outside of Walmart picking up my grocery pickup order. I haven't done one of these in a few weeks now. It actually might be probably since before Christmas. I just have enjoyed going in the stores and picking up my groceries that way, but I'd like to save a little bit of time today, so I just decided to do a pickup and yeah, so I'm just sitting out here. I think they're actually on their way out here soon. I just need to enter in my parking spot. I have some fun things planned for today. I'm actually going to be running out to the new house to meet with our contractor. I want to give him my paint. Oop, here they are. Hold on a second. Groceries are in the trunk. I'm going to head home, get them all put away. I actually am trying a new recipe tonight. My mom actually gave it to me and said it's amazing, so I know it will be good. Uh, so I'll also share that with you today. But like I was saying, I am going to be heading over to the new house to give my paint selections to our contractor. And I'm thinking we might go out and do a little bit of furniture shopping as well. Made my coffee, do not mind the dishwasher. I'll turn it off here in a second to do my little grocery haul. But these mugs are insulated, clear mugs. I actually thrifted a set of four of these at Goodwill, what, like a week or two ago? They're amazing. You want some coffee too, Charlie Bear? I've been thrifting a lot lately. Between you and me, I've probably been there, I think I was there three times last week, just because they're always putting out new things, and I don't know, I've just really gotten back into it lately. I found some good clothing items for the kids. I actually got this shirt last time I was there. It's a Stitch Fix like hoodie. I just really like the color too, it's perfect. Um, but so yeah, I got those coffee mugs. I love them. I didn't grab them the first time I was there. Went back again, they were still there, I'm like, Okay, let me at least like look them up, see like if they're like any good. I love them. They keep my coffee so, so hot for a long amount of time compared to like the, your standard mugs. So maybe we'll actually go thrifting today too now that I'm talking about it. I don't wanna like miss any good deals. So anyways, grocery haul. This is a small grocery haul. It's just a lot of fill-in items that we needed. But then I just got ingredients for tonight's recipe. I have found that I actually like to grocery shop a few times a week, two, sometimes three. Uh, meal planning an entire week just doesn't work for me. I just, I can't follow it. But if I just buy things for one meal and then later in the week find another meal I wanna try, then I'll go out and get those ingredients. I've just found that works so much better for me. Let's not get started on the cost of eggs. I think this 18 pack was seven dollars. I just cannot get over that, but I have to buy eggs. Our boys love them. And it's like, it's, I mean, it's one of the healthier things they'll eat. So we have to get our eggs. Just some vinegar for cleaning and things like that. Elbow macaroni. I meant to get like this smaller box and ended up with a three pound one. So yeah, I guess we're all stocked up on pasta. I haven't done a grocery pickup in a while and I kind of forgot I need to check the size on some of the items. So this is for the recipe tonight along with the chicken broth and the Alfredo sauce. This was a substitution. I actually had another one in my cart but ended up with this one which I'm sure it'll be just fine. Mini bagels for the kids. They love these for breakfast and I have not got them for a while. There's some pears, Cheez-Its, tortillas, applesauce pouches, cottage cheese, some of the whipped cream cheese for the bagels, some of the shells and cheese, a random Lunchable, carrots, some shredded lettuce, more applesauce. We go through lots of applesauce. I grabbed these tomatoes, some yogurt. These are the light, where is it? Light Greek vanilla. These are the, ooh, there we go. These are the ones my husband really likes. Milk, apple juice, grape juice, some bananas. This was a substitution. I actually had six substitutions in this grocery haul, which is crazy. Let me know if you use the VIX Kleenexes and what you think of them. Also needed more detergent. I've been really liking this kind. So just grabbed another one. Do you say it Persil? 
Got me some downy fabric softener. Did I say bananas? There's some bananas. Chicken Alfredo pasta bake is what I'm going to be making tonight, so I'll share that with you. But I'm going to get all of these groceries put away. Usually what I'll do is do something like this, like a Walmart run, and then later in the week, usually Wednesdays, I'll go to Aldi and really stock up on produce, and so I like some of their breads, and I'll get some more milk, and sometimes eggs, it just really depends what we need. But those are some of the essentials. I always get at Aldi every single week, so. I'll find another meal item to make for dinner and then I'll grab those items too. So I'm gonna put all of these away and then I'll share with you, I'm kind of in a hurry if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I need to get out to our new house to meet with the contractor here in less than an hour. I'm making some final decisions on paint colors. Nothing like last minute. I had some of it done, but I'm really torn on what I should do in some of the bedrooms. If I wanna do like the same color as the living room or do something a little bit different. But I wanted to share with you how they requested I send the paint color. So what I did um, is I ordered a bunch of samples from sampleize.com. And you can go in, it doesn't matter like I think they have a lot of like the main paint companies there. I'm going with Sherwin-Williams for our house, but you can get like Benjamin Moore, all kinds of different colors. And you get, these are like peel and stick. They're kind of like stickers, but they are removable. You can move them around. So you get like a large sticker, and then on the bottom you get two little small ones too. And so I'm taking these small ones, and then I'm making a little key and highlighting in on the floor plan which color goes where. So. I have been loving this whole process. Totally recommend it if you are having troubles trying to find paint colors. The whole idea is is that you can take these larger stickers and like stick it on the wall to see what it looks like in the space. I never got to that, I'm kind of winging it. So <laughs> I know what I want I think, but I'm really torn on if I want to do just the same color throughout or if I want to do maybe a little bit different shade in some of the kids' bedrooms. Like theater colors are these black colors here I'm trying to decide. So just some last minute decisions before I need to head out the door. You all know too, I'm not afraid of picking up a paintbrush and painting a room or even just a wall for that matter, which I'm sure will happen. But it's kind of hard to make some of those choices right now when we're not living in there yet with all of our furniture and things like that. So I'm going to keep it simple, which I think is probably even the cheaper option, buying one color in bulk rather than a bunch of cans of different colors of paint. So yeah, nothing like under the gun. Like I gotta go, <laughs> like hmm. Should we quickly make a uh, impulse decision? I don't know. you were dying on me I needed my other camera battery and two I'm still kind of flustered from running around I feel like I just need to like take a minute to myself and get myself together before we head out I do want to go furniture shopping uh, just two stores I'm mainly on the hunt for it, uh, lots of things really but the main thing I'd love to kind of figure out this week is a sectional for our theater room it's a room I know we'll want to use right away after moving in we're all really looking forward to it we do a lot of movies especially in the winter time and so I want to get something ordered because you know there's like a I mean there's lots of delays still happening with furniture so I have kind of something specific in mind that I'm looking for I want it to be uh, big huge actually with lots of areas to kick your feet up and we want it to be like an L shape Sectional we're not doing theater seating at least not yet just based on how the room is all set up We think that that's going to be best and 
I think so too. So a cozy big sectional is on my list to look for today, hopefully. Meeting with the contractor went very well. He, um, taping, texturing, painting, everything should be done this week as far as that goes, which I was like blown away. I thought we at least had another week of that. He's thinking the whole house will be painted and ready to go. So that was unexpected, but also very exciting. Two, next week they're starting like putting the beams up and trimming things out, flooring starts, cabinetry starts getting set, like it's gonna start getting real really fast, which is awesome. And then a lot of my little home update videos will start coming out more frequently. Right now I haven't had anything really to share with you because they've been taping and texturing now for, this is I think we're on like week two. So anyways, that was good and Got a few questions answered as well, but I'm gonna stick at home, probably eat some lunch before we head out to do any sort of shopping. It's also getting a little bit icy out, so we'll see how that goes. But anyways, I would like to thank Native for sponsoring today's video. I have to share with you their body washes. They're amazing. Native Body Wash is clean, effective, and made from simple ingredients that are easy to understand. It's also vegan and cruelty-free. But besides smelling wonderful, it leaves my skin feeling clean and hydrated. And of course, I love the bubbles in the lather. Native also has deodorant, hand and body lotions, and toothpaste available as well, which you have seen me share in the past. I am a big Native fan. I've been using their products for a couple of years now. Not only their deodorant, I also have been using their face wash for a long time, but also their body washes as well. Coconut vanilla never disappoints. And I'll say this with all of the body washes, you can definitely smell the scent in them, but it's not too overwhelming, which is definitely something that I also look for. But coconut vanilla, so, so good, a good basic. Cucumber and mint, you guys know, this one is by far my favorite scent that they have in all of their products. Oh, it's so, so good. So cucumber and mint, I do not like cucumbers, but I love the scent of this. And then the last one is powder and cotton, such a really nice and just fresh scent. Directions for use, lather, sing, and rinse. I'll spare you the singing. Native also has a candy shop collection out right now, which I am here for. Gummy bear, strawberry, what was it? Strawberry vanilla taffy, cinnamon heart, sour berry. Oh my gosh, they all sound so much fun to try. But I'm going to have a link down below in the description box. If you click on my link, use the code crystal4. It will save you right about 40% off of that three pack of body washes. Usually they're $27 for all three, but you will get it for $17. Also, my code will save you about 20% off of the body lotions and deodorants. I just let Charlie outside and he's rolling in the snow, loving life right now, but you can kind of see out there. Here's a little update on our view. My husband had shoveled an area for ice skating. I think he needs to go and fix it now. We got a little bit of snow, uh, but yeah, all the ice fishing shacks are currently on the lake. On the weekends, it gets hopping out there, which is kind of fun to watch. Oh, Charlie. Hey friends, the first store I'm at is Slumberland. There we go, you can kind of see it through my dirty windshield. If you remember our old house, the gray couches we had in our living room came from here. They actually have them still on display right there. My plan is just to really walk through and see if anything catches my eye. I checked on their website, they have just like, like a bunch of clearance sales going on right now, so who knows. Here's this that we have right now. This looks so much cleaner than ours though and brighter. I just miss our furniture so much. This one doesn't look comfortable enough. Like I want cozy looking. Hmm. Oh, yeah, $9,000. Probably not. Did not find a single thing in Slumberland, which is okay. You know, they had great prices, um, a lot of nice things, but there wasn't really anything I was looking for. Mainly I wanted to find a sectional. The ones they had in the store, which weren't very many, were very like small and just uncomfortable looking. I didn't even try to sit in them. That leather one was really nice, but that is way over budget. So 
I'm now at Montgomery's, which is where I bought a lot of our other furniture already. It's basically just sitting in their warehouse until we're ready for it to be delivered, which is really nice that they do that. So it's all bought, paid for, ready to go. And so it would be nice to get it from here, but it is also a little bit pricier. So we'll see if they have any good sales going on. And there's the bed I ordered, the bedroom set and the dresser. That's so funny. This is the one I'm looking at, although it would be in a sectional form, but it has high back, it has deep seats, which is what I think we would like. The one it's not like the prettiest sectional in here but it is the most comfortable and these were the fabrics I went with this is for the couch these are for the pillows I'm sitting outside of Goodwill now I did end up getting the sectional ordered and so how it works is you can order it and you get to pick out your fabric which is really nice and I was kind of in between a few of them I ended up choosing literally the softest one I've ever felt so definitely went for more comfort than style there were a lot cuter sectionals but a lot of those have the lower backs and I really wanted the higher back because you know you want to be able to rest your head I feel like anyway so ended up doing that and she's thinking it'll be done or delivered right around the same time as all of our other pieces so that's really nice too so gonna head out now into Goodwill see if I can't find any treasures and then I also wanted to stop at Dollar Tree to see if they finally have their Valentine's Day decor out I stopped last week and they still had all Christmas Here we go I see some hearts not a lot though I got this last year. Oh, my mom got these last year and I was so jealous. So there's this one. These are cute too for those canisters. Heart marshmallows. I probably don't need any more. I ended up finding one treasure at Goodwill. I found these little stacked hearth and hand mugs. I think they're Christmas because they're green and red, but how fun are those? I could never leave hearth and hand behind. So both of them for $1.75, amazing. They are brand new. That's the only thing I grabbed at Goodwill. I was a big spender there. And then Dollar Tree, also a big spender. I grabbed just a few things, mainly Valentine's items, which is what I went in for. I grabbed these little stacked books. Oh, well, there's like this weird glue on the top. I'm going to see if, I don't know. I took the plastic wrap off and now there's that. Ugh. So we'll see about that, but grab those little books. Grabbed a card for my husband for Valentine's Day before I forgot. Some of these gift bags for the kids' little Valentine's. I just do something super small for them. And so, yep, grabbed just a few bags and some tissue paper to go with those. And lastly, I saw these paper clips and picked them up because we've needed some for here for just different paperwork and we don't have any. And I just thought these were kind of unique and fun and cute. It's only 3.30 though. I have quite a bit of time until the kids get home. We were supposed to have our Madden head basketball tonight, but it got rescheduled to tomorrow night. So tomorrow night we'll be running instead of tonight. Did you, I don't know if you needed to know that, but there you go. So anyways, I have some time before I need to start dinner. So I thought I'm gonna play with Charlie. He's excited to be out running around. We'll play and I might just tidy up, enjoy the silence before everyone comes home, but. Yeah, I think I'm just in a really good mood today. I had no idea at first I would get all this accomplished, but two, just 
I mean, we're a month, a month and a half away from moving into our home that feels like it has taken years to get here. So yeah, just getting really excited. I tried to conceal the glue there with the plant of like dirty the plant with the branch sticking out and you can't even tell anymore. Well, I mean, I know, but you can't really see it from a distance. So my little vignette that I didn't know I was going to create <laughs> right here on this empty table. Oh, I'm happy to have those. They're so cute. Trying to brush Charlie. He does not like to be brushed. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I will have the recipe that I'm going to be making for dinner linked down below. It's a baked chicken alfredo, and I think it's going to be amazing. At least that's what my mom told me, so. Anyways, elbow macaroni. You don't need three pounds of those, so don't worry about that. Chicken broth, some alfredo sauce, chicken breast. I'm going to be using three Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and also minced garlic. I'm testing out baking the chicken in the air fryer on the bake setting. Hopefully that turns out okay. This is a one pan meal too, which I love. Once it's all cooked, I'll just dice up the chicken really quick and add it into my casserole dish before popping it into the oven. This one is like the easiest recipe ever. I love it. I've got a little bit of a break. It's in the oven for 40 minutes covered with the foil. Once I pull it out, I'll add the Parmesan cheese and the mozzarella. And then I believe it has to bake for just another 10 more minutes and it will be time to eat. Besides little Charlie Bear, nobody else is home. So it's very quiet. It's been a peaceful evening cooking dinner. We don't get very many of those, do we? <laughs>
It looks so, so good. I also made some broccoli and a couple of breadsticks as well. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. Do not forget to check out that native link down below in the description box. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.